CES. The song you just heard was an update to the classic music video by a group called The Bubbles. It was called Video Killed the Radio Star, and it was the first music video ever shown on MTV, and it debuted in 1981. After that debut, the music industry was never the same. Recorded music, which was previously an audio experience, now became the visual experience via television. And the music video became as important as the song itself. MTV changed the music industry together, forever. Our updated song lyrics highlight another disruptive force that I think is going to change the consumer electronics and entertainment industries, and that's the internet. Now, the internet isn't really new news anymore. It's part of our lives for many, many years. There's two billion videos viewed every day. There's 100,000 blogs created daily. E-commerce has grown from the first CD sold over, over the web in 1994 to three-fourths of a trillion dollars in 2007. You've heard about the internet from leaders from the computer industry and the CE industry for many years. But this year is different. This year at CES, you're seeing TVs, stereos, set-top box, and a host of other devices that connect to the internet with or without a PC. A transformation is clearly underway here. Some might say that the CE industry has completed the transition to the internet. I submit we're just getting started. Just as MTV evolved beyond music videos, the internet will continue to transform the CE industry. It will create an opportunity for those who embrace it. Today, we live in the era of the go-to internet. If you want to find a piece of information, you first go to your PC, then you go to a place that has internet access, then you go to a search engine, then you go yet to another site, and hopefully you finally find what you wanted in the first place. In this model, the internet reacts to our requests rather than in anticipating them. The next evolution of the internet changes that model. Rather than us going to the internet, the internet's going to come to us. It, it will bring us the information and the tools we need at any given time to do any given personal situation. Now you may think you've heard of this before, but what I'm, not, what I'm talking about is something that's far beyond the concept of push media or RSS news feeds or personal alerts. I'm talking about bringing a new level of capability and usefulness to the internet. Think about a more personal internet, one that is proactive, predictive, and context aware. It serves you by delivering what you want, when you want, how you want it, and wherever you are. And rather than talk about this, I thought I'd show you what I mean here. And via the power of staging in Las Vegas, I'd like to have Craig join us now from Beijing for the upcoming Olympics in, in Beijing next summer. Hello, Craig. Well, welcome to China. Welcome to China. It's nice to be here. Thanks for having me. So uh, what we really wanted to show today, and we love all this Las Vegas magic as we roll out our sets here, but as I'm a uh, traveling stranger in a strange land, as this demo comes up, we want to show some really amazing things as a business traveler like myself and yourself, and how we're going to get around in, uh, in uh, motherland China. So, what how's, do you got? how's your Mandarin? Poor. Poor, okay. All right. I'm, unfortunately, I'm in the uh, same boat. So, wouldn't it be cool if I could have a mobile device, something like this, that would allow me to do something like this? Wow. <laughs> So pardon the tether here, guys, while we, uh, so we can share this with the audience here, but it's really amazing. So with a mobile internet device like this, the second I get off the plane into China, GPS and my mobile broadband knows exactly what I'm going to need on my exact trip. So GPS, I get all of my navigation, as well as I get all of my translation software. So I'll be able to use augmented reality to identify some signs like this. That's very cool. Can you show us something else it does? Absolutely. Let's take a look over here. So it uh, looks like we have what looks to be like a restaurant here. Let me go ahead and point this guy out. All right, what do we got there? It says a good, good home-style cooking. Sounds delicious. So uh, why don't we uh, see if we can get a little bit more Let's info. Go. And there. Now, I'm using an actual technology from uh, Total Immersion. And what 
I'm seeing here is I can actually get a full information download from the restaurant as well as look at video and uh, see some of the great pictures of the dishes. And they're actually by connecting the menu video review. We're going to check out the different restaurants. This is the best one right here. And you know, if you look at the beach class, this is the place to get out. Check it out. Well, apparently this is the place to get Phoenix Claws all the way across China, but uh, Phoenix Claw. Exactly, my question as well. So if I take a look at the menu here, uh, looks like it's our number one pick at the top. Fairly inexpensively priced, and oh, does that chicken look familiar? Feet. Yeah. You know, I yeah. had chicken feet last night in Vegas, so I, I think we may want to stay away you're, from that. You're good, you're good. Okay. But, but you know, it's a great use of how this technology would be, would be um, useful in a foreign land. Absolutely. So why don't we go ahead and jump into something else. So okay. now that we're in Beijing, we want to find our way to the Olympics. So if we want to go ahead and get all the way over to Worker Stadium, sometimes we need a little something more than just science. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. Uh, would you be able to help oh, us with... Uh... Sorry, I can't speak English. No problem. Here's where, uh, here's where my little friend here comes in to uh, play. So let's go ahead and bring this guy up to screen. And what I'm going to do is actually use this as my interpreter. We're going to do some real-time speech-to-speech translation. So, looking good there. And with the processing power of my MID, let's see if we can make this conversation maybe just a little bit smoother. So, go ahead and bring this guy up. Can you tell me the way to Workers Stadium? Come on.